Hello everyone, I hope you're well. As we think about the theme of restoration during this week, I'd like to share some thoughts on Psalm 51. So it's it's a fairly well-known psalm, but just to give a bit of context, it was written by David, who is a man who walked closely to God, but in this instance he's he's just been confronted with his sin. So he committed adultery with a woman called Bathsheba and to cover up what he'd done, he arranged for her husband to be murdered. And it's it's an awful, awful situation. It's, it's a terrible mess. And he's so broken by his guilt, by the sin. Um, and this psalm comes out of that situation. So I'm not going to read the whole psalm, uh, just the first half, but it goes like this. Have mercy on me, O God according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me against you. You only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. The verse I'd like to focus on is that last one, verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Have you ever felt that you've lost that joy? That joy of being right with God, of being so close to him, has it ever felt like that's been watered down or that it's not what it used to be? Or have you felt that you're just going through the motions and somehow God feels distant because David felt that way Um, he knew what it was to have that joy and he knew that where he was now he didn't have it he'd lost it and so he cries out to God restore the joy of your salvation Lord I've lost it and it's so sad that we can lose something that's so precious but it's incredible that we can come to God and we can ask him to restore it and he will. Um, it's important to see that first David acknowledges his sin, he confesses it, he comes before God and he repents, he asks for forgiveness, and then he asks for the joy to be restored. Um, and he also asks for a willing spirit to sustain him. He knows that by his own strength he is going to fail again, and he needs God's strength and God's presence and life within him to keep him on track and I just want to encourage you wherever you are if that joy is not what it used to be or if if it God feels distant or if that joy has gone completely don't waste time Um, come back to God set things straight and ask him to restore that joy and he will He is the father from the parable of the lost son who is longing, waiting for the son to come back and he runs to him and welcomes him and he restores his position as a son and he restores that relationship. And um, just an incredible father that we have. Uh, Derek shared earlier this week that God stretches out his hand to restore us, but we need to welcome him in. So don't waste time. God bless you all.